problem I got was number 15 and uh, I had to simplify the problem you see on the screen so the first thing you should notice is that we're looking for the cube root of uh, the numbers in the radicand so what we'll do is look for cubes within the uh, the numbers and variables inside the radicand so we'll start off with 54 and as you can see it breaks down into 2 and 27 now 27 then breaks down into 9 and 3 9 breaks down to 3 and 3, which shows 27 is a cube. So you can take the cube of 27 and put 3 on the outside of the equation. While 27's cube root is 3, 2 does not have a cube root, so it stays within the radicand. Next we have to look for cube roots within the variables. An obvious one right off the bat is x cubed. I mean, it's right there. You can just take it right out of there. Poof, there it goes. Now the next two are kind of tricky. What you can take out of these isn't as obvious as the x cubed. So what we have to do is break them down into their respective factors. Here are the factors for y to the 4th and z to the 12th. Now these are the easiest to use because cubes are right there in front of you. And right here I've just highlighted the cubes that you can take out of y to the 4th and z to the 12th. And when you take those cubes out, the, uh, the y's and z's are going to look like this. And when all is said and done, you get 3xy, z to the 4th, times the cube root of 2y, and that's the answer to the problem.